Hello, friends and lovers. What's up? It's Haley, and this is episode three of Dave the Diver. What did you think of the last episode? I did a lot of editing, and well, I mean, I say a lot, but really, I just kind of chop out some of the filler in the game, like a lot of the catching of the fish. We might chop out some of the sushi bar now because uh, nothing much has changed. Of course, I promised to show you the the cool stuff. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you like it? Hate it? You want it the old way? New way? Let me know. You know, I can't, obviously I can't please everyone, but we'll do our best. All right, so we're supposed to call Boncho, even though we're supposed to also go to the restaurant. They're telling us to call them. So I guess we'll try to call them first, see what happens here. What is it, Dave? I was helping Duff and I defeated a giant squid. That's incredible. I couldn't bring the whole thing, so I cut off a bit of his tentacle. Is this edible, perhaps? Of course, the ammonium chloride that helps it float Gives it an awful stench, however, and because it's very tough, it's difficult to cook using conventional methods. I don't think we'll be able to offer it to our customers anyway. Why don't we close up shop for the day and hold a party with the squid? Wait, what? I've been so busy since we opened that I haven't treated you to any proper food despite your hard work. Oh, okay. Hold a party and eat the squid, I guess is what he's saying. I thought he said, like, you know, I thought he kind of meant, like, let's have a party with the squid. You know, party it down in the ocean or something like that. Sounds fantastic. Let me clean up a bit. Come to the sushi bar when you're ready. So we're not serving today, I guess? Oh, I'm kind of disappointed, to be honest. What can you do, though, I suppose? All right, so looks like all our friends are here. That's, like, the cooksta lady. You got Cobra, Dr. Bacon... Dave, you're a bit late. Everyone's been waiting for you. Uh, I skipped one little line. I'm sorry. When did everyone arrive, though? You party with customers. There's been a lot of progress. Very good. Hmm? As there, restaurants should put their customers first. Food, drinks, service, and customers are the basic foundations of a restaurant. Well, you do need customers. In the past, there was only a rigorous chef and his cooking. I was also here from the beginning. Yes, but you weren't very noticeable. <laughs> do you remember what I told you back then? About the reviews on Cooksta? You said there wasn't any real mention of me, but now people do mention you, albeit rarely. They say things like, He poured me hot green tea. He was working hard preparing the wasabi. He was friendly. He looked busy. Oh, the customers are recognizing your hard work. Well, that makes me feel good. Customers are honest and intuitive, more so than you think. They know if you're sincere, kind, diligent, or skilled, and they react accordingly. And that's why I find this moment hard to believe to think that ob obstinate... Boncho is working with people and holding parties. I think it's thanks to you, Dave. Fresh. That makes me wonder what he was like in the past. I can't divulge details about someone else's past, but maybe someday the opportunity presents itself, I might be able to tell you. All right. The other characters had a bunch of uplifting words for us. Just to kind of mention the same old thing that we were looking at. A giant squid tentacle. It really isn't an ingredient that's difficult to handle. Suppressing the stench should allow me to reach its essence. You're still studying the ingredients. Good work today. Bringing back precious ingredients. It's a difficult sort of prepare, a difficult sort to prepare, but that's part of the fun of cooking. How does, does it taste? The food's always been great, but today's is even more spectacular. So there was a lot of it. I made many different dishes, though we won't be able to offer these to customers. There seems to be no end to the path of the chef. It's a fortunate thing to have a path to pursue. The same can be said of the set study of ingredients. Dave, please keep persevering and one day we'll succeed. Sure, I'll bring, I'll be sure to bring back more fish pick up a beer don't mind if i do that's the good stuff Boncho's food is so nice i can understand the growing popularity of the restaurant or maybe it's because i caught the fish in any case there's been a lot of stuff going on giant squid sea people there's no end to the mysteries of the ocean even if it's dangerous suppose i'll go even deeper tomorrow i wonder what i'll find whatever think about it tomorrow time to toast cheers mates what a lovely evening that we had. Oh. Oh, it's that creeper. What the? Hey, we're just trying to have a nice time over here, pal. Are they going to attack us like now? Oh, I guess not. Okay. Next day. VIP visit day. Oh, crap. I forget what I needed, kind of. So I have to make sure I get it now. No doubt, huh? Good morning. I must have drank too much. I feel sick. You did seem a bit excited. You don't get gatherings like that every day. That sort of vacation calls for a joviality. You can't throw up here, Dr. Bacon. Why not? If I'm not, I'm not a drinker. I'm not the drinker I used to be in any case. Take the deep sea headlamp stuff gave you. Try venturing down into the depths. 
While well, if you turn on automatically when you reach the right depth, don't forget you'll have to enhance your diving suit if you want to venture into it. I'll have to enhance my equipment first, and then, by the way, do you happen to have scuba blarg? Uh, so I guess my suit might not go deep enough as it is. Ew. He's asking me to enter the water after that, right? Chapter 2! Huh, I wonder how many... This game appears to go on for quite a long time. So let's take a look at our phone. I diver. We can now update the suit. Death limit is 375. I don't think I've gone... I don't know if we. I actually need it to update it. But I guess I will just in case. We're going to have to update something soon anyway, right? We have the money for us. I guess that's good. So time to dive well down into the depths. And by the way, VIP day. Wait, how do I look that up again? Marinka to do. Uh, let's see. Gourmet, Vincent's challenge, white spotted jellyfish. Oh, get me sea grape, white spotted jellyfish and salt. Okay, so that's all set for the ingredients that we need. Okay. Then VIP day is donezo. We still just want to collect as much jellyfish as we can for the jellyfish party. All right, let's go. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Is that the protester or a new pirate? John Watson, it is. Wait, so it was you, the one who's been harming the ocean. You even vomited, you disgusting creature. That wasn't me. I have no time for your penny excuses. Now that you, I've, you've been caught by John Watson of Sea Blue, the Guardians of the Sea won't be leaving so easily. I'll turn you into fish food. So are we just gonna have a fight? You missed. Hey, you're like destroying the reef, jerk. Oh my Poseidon, this is all your fault. You did this to the precious sea. You're the one shooting bombs and all I do is catch a few fish to keep the restaurant running. Why don't you look into the fishing vessels responsible for catching thousands of fish, not individual divers like me. Enough blabbing, I'll shut that yapper of yours. Are we gonna have a real fight? John Watson, I guess we are. Okay, buddy, what's the deal? Kaboom, oh. You charged at me. Kaboom. Nice try, bud. Hey, whoa, I wasn't that close. Hold on. Ah. Oh no, they're mad now. Oh, God. Okay, they can't aim that high, though. Oh, I thought it was be going to be far enough away. Did we get him? Are we donezo? I guess we're donezo. Okay, Johnny Watts. This is going to be a recurring thing with him, I'm going to guess. How dare you fight back against me? John Watson, formerly of the Navy Seals. I'll, I'll get you from this. Shake my fist at you with fury. That should serve as an adequate warning, so I'll back away for now to protect the environment. What? But I won't let you go unpunished if you persist in damaging the ocean. We're watching you. So wait, you just... Wait, oh, where are you going? What's it? Does he live there? A path has opened up in the direction of John Watson escape. Let's go that way to reach the signal. All right. So I guess that's the way we'll be going to try to get to the depths here. The thing is, our oxygen is a bit low after that fight, but I guess this is supposed to be a hint as to how to get to where we're going here. Oh boy, the sawfish. You think we can handle it? They're pretty tough. Oh! Die! Foul creature. I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna eat you. Oh! Get wrecked. That was uh, surprisingly easy. Long nose saw shark meat. Weighs quite a bit. But I guess we'll take it, huh? I got some bombs. So I don't know if that's really going to help me. Hold on. Ugh. Oh! Destroyed. Well, not you didn't actually get destroyed. I can't help but notice. Oh, boy. Try to skate away. Okay, swap it. Drop a bomb. Okay, I need you to not charge this time, but to simply walk into it. Maybe I'll take a step back. Pick up the old scooter. Blow up in its face. Oh, God. 
How much health do you have? Oh, we got it! Get smoked, baby. Am I gonna have the space to carry all this shark back? Tiger shark meat. Look at how much it weighed. We're like crazy over encumbered now. We have now entered the deep sea. The flashlight is on. The music has changed. We also got a little achievement for entering here as well. Let's see what we got in this chest. Anything of use? A UV light. So you can swap that out. The two worms will shrink away from UV light, allowing you to pass. Find a UV light in a nearby chest. If you can't find one, maybe try a melee attack. Okay, gotcha. So there's certain fishies. We're not fishies, but obstacles. I don't think this guy's going to like me. Come on. Uh-oh. Fire! I know, I know, I know. Is it done yet? There we go. Woo! That was actually kind of tough. I didn't even catch it. Uh, I guess it won't let me pick it up. Whoa, what are you? Alright, we found some tube worms, but we are incredibly low on oxygen. Come on! Got into another fight with one of those stupid fish. No! We're down to 27. No! We're down to 20. Okay, I think it's time to leave. Luckily, we have an escape pod here, so we'll be fine, but we are totally over encumbered. That's the price we pay for it. So I guess we'll just have to come back on another trip here. It didn't take that long. It wasn't that crazy, but ugh, man. All right, the next trip down. Hello, my friend. How are you? What are you up to? I like your boat. Yowie. You seem energetic today. I saw a boss card acquisition notification pop up on the marine card account. It's this giant squid boss card. Yeah. How did you get this? It's such a rare card. Well, I was just on my way to pick up a delivery and as chance would have it. I don't have a clue what that means, but in any case, you've made amazing progress. Oh, wait, he's Ash from Pokemon. I mean, they must have introduced this character when I played during early access, but I don't remember. <laughs> Try collecting all the rare boss cards. Something good's sure to happen. If you venture to new regions, for example, the depths, the new automatic marine card AI system will unlock a new card pack. Don't forget to collect fish cards in the new regions as well. Bye then. Mm, see you later. All right, I sold some stuff. I was hoping to, yeah, we can sell a little bit more to afford the cargo box here, probably. Since that seems to be what's really holding us back when we're down there. So just sell a little bit of junk here, I suppose. We got an awful lot of wood. No idea how much we're going to need in the long run. Too hard to say. I think that's enough now. Go back. Boom. I mean, yeah, yeah, that'll definitely help a lot. So the air tank's got to be next then. Okay, so back down to the signal that we go. I picked up a flame harpoon tip in a chest in the ocean. A flaming harpoon tip. This is like SpongeBob logic now. We got a fang tooth, level five. I had to hit like a Y. Looks like they wanted a two bun combination. I got kind of lucky because I was just mashing Y. <laughs> but yeah, since we're in a new area, it's probably a good idea to kind of look around. I guess I'll swap out. I'll use this oxygen tank for some new bombs here. In case there, I didn't even see that guy. Oh, I got like a pickaxe to mine, I guess, rarer minerals down here. So we got some amethyst here. It really is turning into terraria or something. Uh, but I haven't really found that many different things to craft. Like all the weapons we had available are still pretty much everything we've seen so far. I don't think there's any options that I haven't crafted, in other words. All right, we are back at the tube worms. Kind of wish this was a little bit... Okay, I guess it's not, like, hard, but I was kind of hoping they'd react a little bit faster, I guess. Oxygen, good. Hopefully we get some more escape pods. Speaking of oxygen, there we go. 
that gave us oh that clam gave us an oxygen oh okay it's the sea people from before Bohugu gads they're freaking out i mean you no harm they're saying something i can't tell what they're saying i'll have to call dr bacon my goodness wow to think the sea people are real is simply incredible they're saying something to me but i can't understand them i think analyzing the patterns that might allow us to translate come back up to the boat for now i'll try and think of a way to translate oh okay so i guess that's it i was too bad because we were so close to this before but what can you do so i'll probably collect some more fish and then head back to the boat all right we got a big boy in front of us they are gonna aggro too it looks i don't know i feel oh no it's a sucker or something okay 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 maybe we can do it uh oh that was incredibly close they're sucking again okay that's fine got a swap i got like a little whip or something sorry using the whip i mean not the whip the harpoon oh all right seems to just do those two moves ah we got it okay it wasn't actually that bad at the end of the day we got a lot of shark meat on the menu a mega mouth shark rest in pieces my friend your meat will be put to good use Oh, thank God. I was kind of exploring the bottom here. Ooh, a crab. I don't know if I should... I can't even carry it if I got the meat from it. So we should probably just use the escape pod to get the heck out of here. All right. We did it, though. We survived. Got a lot of stuff to bring back. Mission accomplished as well. I'm sure there'll be some translations going on or something now. All right. New best for time and depth as well. Uh, Yeah, we got some Mega Mouth Sharks and random items. Lots of crap here, really. Lots of fishies. Don't worry, we got the green humphead, the thing that we're putting on the extinction list list at this rate. And Udo's got something to say to us. Can I have a moment? You are? I should introduce myself first. I'm a reporter for the magazine Weekly Fish. My name is Udo. I've read that magazine too. It covers unique fish species. You have? That's right. I heard that the blue hole is home to a variety of fish species. Is that true? You say that there are all kinds of fish species from around the world. I knew it, so I've come to the right place. I'd love to take pictures of myself for the magazine, but unfortunately I can't die. Speaking of which, would you help me take some pictures? See, you have that nice camera over there, but I'm no expert in photography. I'm not sure if I'm good enough. Don't worry, if you're a reader of Weekly Fish, you'll get a feel for what kind of fish to photograph. Of course, I'll reward you if you take a nice picture, if you say so. It'd be nice to make to make a record of this amazing world. Okay. So is that a quest or is this like a hmm it says take pictures and U talk to Udo to claim your rewards okay time to make some sushi so we already got the amethyst amethyst as part of the quest and today is the day that the VIP shows up I believe too hello viewers this is Yui from the from star the chef why I don't know why it sounds weird to me bring it over all right I'll bring you one serving of jellyfish sushi Wait, so was it steamed or what? Like, what was the point of that pot exactly? Oh, I'm supposed to serve it? Okay. We are going to open for the night, right? I need money, man. There's too much overhead here. So this is jellyfish. The flesh is transparent. The white dots are pretty as well. You made it with bunched rice. You should have made it sure it doesn't scatter by making gunkin maki instead. It'll dry up. Hurry up and eat. It's already been seasoned. I know it can't possibly taste good, but since it's for the program, I'll try it. Incoming orgasm. <laughs> the look on your face. This is amazing. I can taste the sea as soon as I bit into it, and the jellyfish is nice and firm, and I taste something popping inside. Could it be flying fish row? Wait, they're bigger than that caviar. No, that would have killed the jellyfish flavor. It could it be. I added some sea grape below the jellyfish. Firm jellyfish flesh with sea grape. And this is the sea. I taste the sea. The sea where the sea kelp sway. I can't help but admit it. The sushi is amazing based on a very deep understanding of the ingredients. 
But why is it that you use such unknown ingredients instead of the proven ones? The first reason is the taste. Jellyfish has a gentle, gentle, mild taste with a strong texture, making a perfect match for the scent and flavor of sea grape. The second reason is the potential. There are so many kinds of ingredients out there. Insisting on using only the verified few is the same as ignoring the infinite possibilities. Thank you for those amazing words, Macho. Now then, it's time for your evaluation, Vincent. This is the jellyfish sushi that made Vincent marvel, Mr. Boncho, who created this dish. What will the score be? I'll give Boncho sushi 80 points. Isn't that too low? You looked quite impressed while eating. The sushi was excellent, but this establishment lacks something, though. Eating combines many enjoyments. To think you'd only offer green tea with this beautiful ocean in front of us. Romance. This place doesn't have enough romance and appreciation for the arts. That's why I'll give the score 80 points as a side reward. I'll... However, I'll give you a refrigerator. <laughs> okay. Being able to drink cold beer from that fridge would make the score 100. It'll be perfect. As I expected of you, Vincent, that was an excellent opinion. Now, how did you like the star? I can't read that for some star the chef today. We'll be really looking forward to Bancho Sushi's Zak Sushi being served with beer. See you again next time. This was Reporter Yui. Some PBRs with our sushi. Customers will now sometimes order beer after their meal, pour them drinks, and create additional revenue. Okay, all right. Works for me. Wow, Bancho, amazing that picky Vincent acknowledged you. The tongue does not lie. Vincent has a point. Shall we try selling beer from now on? Well, I guess we kind of have to, right? All right, let's pick out the menu and stuff. All right, I picked out the menu. I kind of chose the high ticket items best that I could, even if we don't have a ton of them. So I think we should be good to go. I, should, I also put out an ad to try to hire more staff members because we still have an empty slot here. But now we can serve the beer. All right, we got to serve him some beer. 20% is foam. Oh, I totally messed that up, didn't I? Bad? Oh, come on. Okay, let's try the beer again. Okay, so pour so that about 20% is foam. Like that? That's okay, right? Ooh, perfect. Lovely, 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 lovely. Oh, I need to help with the wasabi. They're not cooking anything, right? Oh, no, that person's getting mad. I think they left. Oh, they don't want this dish anymore. Crap. Oh, no, we did terrible. Come back, my friends. I have your sushi in hand. I wasn't paying attention. We needed more wasabi. They got me. Pretty bad. Oh, we still uh, earned a crazy ton of money, though, apparently. But yeah, it was not a good day overall, mostly because I messed up, I'd say. But yeah, I chose the right dishes this time instead of just kind of being a bit more lackadaisy about it. All right, and we've now... So with all that money, we were able to upgrade the air tank one more time and the harpoon gun another time. So back down we go. We're looking for the microphone and the Sea People Stone tablet. We found some strange coral here. Oh, there's a octopus in there. You're not supposed to eat octopus, I believe, right? I mean, people do, obviously, but... Oh god, we got inked. Uh... Alright, do you want me to try to catch it? That octopus has sprayed me with ink. Just wait till I catch you. Here I come. Investigate this strange coral update. Okay, chase the annoying octopus. It's fast. Am I meant to keep up here? Hey, buddy, you gonna slow down? Is this like an escort quest or something like that? Kind of looks that way. It stops briefly for moments. Oh, it seemed to have guided us to some kind of... There's a chest in that wall or something. Okay. Probably gonna need a bomb for that or something, right? Escape through a door crack. I don't think I can fit in there. Come to think of it, I can probably use the gas cutter from Duff to cut my way in. Just you wait, Octopi. Yeah. All right. Almost there. I think I got out of the line once. Ah, well, it says perfect, so that means I am perfect, of course. Go to a new region. 
You had nowhere to run, give up. I guess I'll have octopus sashimi for dinner. Okay, see you later. I'm kind of glad the octopus got away. That would be rude, Dave. It escaped again, it's so quick. But it looks like we got a new charm? Let's see, we chase the octopus and an odd bracelet. It's an artifact, so we'll, we'll, we shall identify it when we reach the surface again. All right. All right, we're at the ship and the microphone should be in here, it looks. Let's take a look-see. We have the zone to get to us. We have a bunch of miniature zones under the sunken ship. Haven't we been here? Isn't this where we found... Uh, I think the mermen, mer people. The mer wizards. Well, there's the microphone, it would appear. Well done. I just need a sea people stone slab to create the sea people translator. Okay, I guess that's probably just where we were. Alright, it kind of took forever, but we finally found the Sea People Record Chamber again, which is all the way to the east. Essentially. Not very deep, though. So here's the stone tablet, and now we just got to bring that back, and I guess away we go. You had to visit a lot of places, but you managed to get everything. Now that's what I call lucky. I'll use these to try to make a translator in my lab. I'll need some time to make it. You can go about your business in the meantime. I'll be in touch soon. You got it, Bacon. Ooh, what's our charm gonna be? We got, what do you got, what do you got? Octopus bracelet. Found in the corner, blah, blah, blah. Use left joystick button, right? To dash a short distance. I thought, uh, equip the octopus bracelet to dash short distances with left. No oxygen is used, but the gauge needs to fill again for the ability to be reused. Okay, I thought I only had two charm slots. I guess we'll have to look the next time we're down there or something. Oh, wait, 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 found it. Okay, it increases dash speed by 30% from the dolphin necklace. Did it take something off? It did. Survive for a certain period after running out of oxygen. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that one and I'll use the dash instead. I'm kind of thinking. Is that, like, that one's just not going to come into play very often. We got a call from Bancho. Dave, are you busy? We have a strange customer at the sushi bar. Could you come over for a moment? The manager, as the manager, this is something I can't overlook. I'll come over right away. A noisy customer. Okay, you got, we got the fireworks. Oh, we got the applicant list from our hiring spree there. So we're looking for someone that could help with the, in the kitchen it looks. What's with that second candidate? All right, we are back. We have the noisy customer to look at, but let's take a look at our hiring situation. So here are the applicants that we got. It's Suki. They are mysterious, huh? Their skills are terrible. They cost nothing to hire. I'm kind of just curious what the deal with them is, right? Otherwise, I'd probably be more quick to hire someone that just has the cooking skills to help in the kitchen, I guess, huh? You know what? Let's be... Let's be weird. I will not fail my mission, my lord. Okay. Maybe they grow faster or they get unique skills or something like that. So they're in the kitchen, I guess. So let's look at training for them. They do, up, do go up pretty quickly. It costs some money. So let's go ahead. I'm not going to have enough to... Train them again, though, it looks. Not quite. But eventually they can start serving drinks. Their stats go up to a pretty normal amount pretty quickly, it looks here, though, huh? Interesting. How that ends up working out. I think it's okay to leave them in the kitchen. I don't think they can mess anything up. I hope not, at least. All right, what's this guy's problem? Who dares interrupt me? I'm sorry we're not open yet. You can't come in like this. Aren't you strict? I was simply saying a few words. I haven't been to a beach in a while, and it brings back old memories. I was an amazing diver before I took a harpoon to the knee. Oh, God. So you were a diver. I'm also a diver. Then you must know the diver's a dream of swimming in all the seas of the world. Forests of coral, pods of sperm whales, fights to the death of tiger sharks. That brings to mind a dish I'd really love to eat. What dish do you mean? When I was little, the moray eel curry at my fishing village was famous. I can't forget its taste. If you can make that dish, perhaps I'll give you a nice gift. Hides in the rocks make them difficult to catch. How do you get one? You know how to die, but you don't know much of the ecology, huh? Eels are nocturnal, only come out at night. Do you have gear for night diving? I did get a flashlight. That should do just fine. 
more eels are nocturnal please go night diving and catch more eel to fulfill my wish i've gone diving at night for a while maybe i will try so now we can dive at night instead of helping the restaurant i guess always pay attention to the sushi bars opening hours oh so we have to get back in time to open the restaurant still if we do that oh i see so yeah we're still gonna serve for this evening i think here uh so let me pick out the menu and everything all right and tonight is the special jellyfish party night i almost forgot so i want to make sure we put all the jellyfish dishes that we have here they're actually there's a pink ribbon around them so that makes things a little bit easier i only had one of those i wonder if i accidentally used them or something like that okay we got oh, okay here's a good amount do i want to enhance it once i only have six if i do that maybe i don't enhance it at all and i just make try to make sure we don't run out of jellyfish related things okay and the rest of the dishes i guess will just be our best essentially all right looks like we made it i think we did pretty good looks like we did run out of jellyfish stuff so what can you do but hey that was our best day by far look at how much money we earned Woo! that is a profitable sushi business so yeah i think we did the right thing what is going on in the top right there oh those are the stupid party go goers for the jellyfish people so i guess that's a reward top sale sea grapes jellyfish sushi made $900 alone and I think I only sold like two of them or something like that oh we got some kind of crazy bonus for it okay that makes sense Dr. Bacon is back I tried to do it alone but it was too tough I got a bit of help from Duff thanks to his help we can now translate your words into the sea people's language as well I'm curious to know what they have to say I'll first make my way back to the sea people's location so we got to dive back all the way down to the blue hole depths it would appear Alrighty, we got a call from Duffy. What is it? I spent some quality time with Leah's Chan and did some quiet thinking. I realized that people paying paying people back for help received was what a noble master would do. Tell me, Dave, are you satisfied with your guns? No, they're terrible, honestly. They really are terrible. I guess it's time I stepped into the spotlight, so to speak. I'll help you enhance your guns. It's about making them stronger or imbuing elements like poison and electricity. There's one thing you need to remember, though. Only guns that have been created can be enhanced. I speak at the risk of sounding obvious. I see gun enhancement sounds pretty useful. You're a cooler person than I thought. What are you saying? I'm just trying to be the best master I can for Leo's. I think I've provided an adequate explanation. It's back to the world of the pixies for me. You got it, buddy. All right, so now enhance your guns at Duffy's Weapon Shop. Collect various materials and gun fragments and make your weapons more powerful. We can probably, I see. So we've been using this upgrade. Okay. So these are the two we can upgrade, I guess. So underwater rifle can become the flame rifle. I see. Previous stage needs to be crafted. Oh, I can make the underwater rifle too. 60% fire damage in addition to gun base damage. I see. So this has just like vanilla magazine da uh, vanilla damage 35. This is 24 with additional fire damage. 40% chance to tranquilize 30 damage base. Poison is 4 damage every second for 8 seconds. That seems pretty good. 15% damage to near to one nearby sea creature. So it jumps. That's what the lightning rifle does. Shock can cause paralysis and make them move slower. I see. Oh, I don't have all the mats I need for almost any of these except for the second underwater rifle which i guess we'll do <laughs> completely unnecessary cutscenes is just uh totally par for the course in this game right <laughs> We got a big boy up here. Do we test our luck? How fast are we talking? They're pretty fast, but they kind of just swim into one direction. Okay. Fire them up, baby. Whoa. It's kind of taking a lot of shots. Try to finish it. Ooh. Ah, there we go. Got it. All right. What is this dude, Dad? This might weigh a ton, huh? 
some frilled shark meat how fancy and that practically capped out our weight already all right here we are let's try out the sea people translator from dr bacon and see how it works what's up my friend how we doing nice to be here can you hear me how is a human speaking our language an interesting creature his body looks different from that of the humans we occasionally see in any case, I should introduce myself. My name is Suwam. Among us low dwellers, oh, you said you call us sea people, right? You could say I'm the bravest and coolest male of them all. Nice to meet you. I'm Dave. Dave, in our language, your name sounds very similar to Broken Toilet Lid. What is with this creature? In any case, the person lying here is the daughter of the Sea People Village, Chief Ramo. Ever since being kidnapped by that stupid giant squid, she has been unconscious. If I'd have known, if I'd known about it a little earlier, I'd have shown that squid a thing or two. Don't get a big head for defeating that insignificant squid human. I am the one that guards Raymo. You really are a noisy one. In any case, you seem to have something to say. What is it? About that, in order to allow Raymo to recover, we need some medicinal herbs. I'm unable to leave, as I must stay and look after her. Human, you must acquire some medicinal herbs to help Raymo recover. What is that from? Where did you... Is that like Dragon Quest? You'd have medicinal herbs, I think. The feather coral and lily coral grow in these parts. Please make them edible and bring them to me. Make them edible. How do I do that? That's for you to figure out, human. Go find a chef and help you or something. She's ill. I need feather coral and lily coral. I guess I'll take a look around. All right. Hopefully we can find it before we have to go back up. We have plenty of oxygen. Not a lot of weight, but that's okay. I can't really... Or shouldn't really swap out what we got because I have to use this light. So I guess we'll just start looking around. That's a giant ore fish. If I take a picture with the blue plankton next to it, that could make a pretty nice picture. Okay, so we go over here. Oh, so it just kind of tells you what to do. Okay. Uh, we can do better than that. Retake. Let's try retaking, huh? It's coming around. We need the blue plankton no where is the blue oh i can move oh so maybe right now that's pretty good right camera focus good we got everything i guess pokemon snap boom there we go okay we got the other piece of coral is this a sea people building the door is locked oh whoops got bonked there what is this can't even see it oh i think it's a clam with some oxygen all right, so we found the door to something here. What's on our to-do list? Hurry up and make food with feather coral and lily coral. So assuming we have to head back to the sushi restaurant to actually get it made. Maybe we'll take out these jellyfish real quick and bring them back with us here, right? I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. Ooh, money. We got bonus with dollars, too. All right, how are we doing over here? Oh, you can talk to the staff, too. I trained as a ninja for several years, but it wasn't easy making a living as a ninja. Leave it all to me, my lord. Yes, dear. So this coral has to be prepared so it's easy to eat for sea people. I think we could start with a porridge of sorts. Give me a moment. Lovely. <laughs> here you go i soften the coral to make it easy to eat so it should be fine thank you boncho you're so quick all right let's take this to Remo. okay so that's our it looks like it didn't take a whole day either so we can go back out for another dive but that's gonna do it for this episode of dave the diver thank you all so much for watching i appreciate you like comment subscribe let me know what you think if you want to see more of the game if you want to see less of the game whatever you want to tell me let me know in the comments all right thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video bye everyone this time.